Hi guys, I'm Phil Sturpey. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a new GET package into your project in Visual Studio 2012. Although I'm using Visual Studio 2012, the process is almost identical in 2010. NuGet is a Visual Studio extension that provides a delivery mechanism to add packages stored in the cloud into your projects. Typically, adding a component to your project would involve downloading an installer, running it, then adding a reference to the DLL in your project. You might also have to add something into your config file. NuGet manages this whole process for you. You launch NuGet either by right-clicking the References node in your project and selecting Manage NuGet Packages, or by selecting the same option from the Tools Library Package Manager menu. The NuGet window lists any packages that have already been installed, and will let you check online for an additional package to install. This project is an MVC3 project to which I would like to add the root debugger package. As I know what I'm after, I can search for it by name. Anyone can create a package and submit it to NuGet, so you might want to consider the package's origin. I can see by the profile to the right that this package was created by Phil Hack, one of the MVC team at Microsoft, so I'm pretty happy to use this package. To install a package, I simply need to click on the Install button. As you can see, it doesn't take long to install, although the time taken will depend on the size of the actual package. Now that I've installed the package, let's see what just happened. As you might expect, many packages are delivery mechanisms for DLLs or assemblies, and if I expand the References node, you can see that the root debugger assembly has been added to my project. If I open the project folder in Windows Explorer, I'll be able to show you where NuGet has placed the assembly. It is stored in a Packages folder below the Solution folder. Let me switch back into Visual Studio 2012 to show you something else. The root debugger component requires some configuration. If I open webconfig, you can see that NuGet has placed the required entry into the file for me. There you have it. In this video, I've shown you how easy it is to add a new Git package to your Visual Studio 2012 project. It can be used to add a wide variety of assets to your projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another video soon.